Yeah. The only annoying thing about, thing about GTA is that if I do it solo, I'm more of a risk of losing all my stuff because I've got like more value, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's like, even when we're selling that cocaine, that was worth almost under a million dollars. Yeah, if you don't uh, if you don't do it with someone, you uh, lose out quite a bit, don't you? Yeah, because the missions I have to do, you have to take like one side to take. You know the what they called like those dustbin trucks. I suppose. Yeah. I had to take three of them up the steepest hills in the game. Just kidding. Out. That's why I'm not. Because I, from where, I'm, where my base is, it took me seven minutes to get to my house. Where the drop was, I'm not even joking. Him out. And it's like, hello everyone, welcome to a stream. Fucking hell, we haven't done one of these for a bit. We haven't done anything with this channel for a bit. I hope you're all well. Happy New Year and all that old bollocks. Hope you've had a all good Christmas. So we're on Shamrock Valley with Seasons, and I'm just waiting for a few more people to join, and then we'll probably crack it on. Um, I don't know how long the stream's gonna be. Until six. Why weren't you posting recently? I don't know. I just haven't been on. We ha this is the first time we've had. I've been on my PC for a full week. Um. So. That's it. I just haven't been on. Uh, I've been doing stuff. I tried to record a vlog literally like a couple minutes ago. Um, my GoPro's dead, so I'm letting that charge, and then that will be up probably tomorrow. Something the David I'll update you on a few things. David Brown has been sold and is going tomorrow. The John Deere has been straight piped, the steering has been fixed, and it's having the beacons and all the other jazz fitted. I have picked my new mower up and it is at home and it's sheeted up. Uh are you in Discord at the minute? Yes I am. Uh how are you, Kieran? I'm good. Um so yeah, quite a few things have happened. I've got a couple more jobs lined up for the summer as well, which is great. Um, I'm thinking I am going to start taking my GoPro to when I do a few jobs and film a few things like that, because I know how much people love seeing them. So, we have got... This is the first day of spring. Uh, we've got 100000 to spend. And yeah, we've just got stuff to buy and things to do. I've seen that in the group chat, the mail looks good. Yep, it does. It's absolutely great condition for what it is. And I only paid 500 quid for it, so I ain't fucking moaning. Um, right ho, so we're going to sell the two... I'm going to sift through the kit that I can think I can live without. We aren't going to spend too... Uh, too long deciding what we're going to own. That can fuck off. Uh, we'll sell that and get the tarp mower. Keep that, and we'll keep that, I think. Or should we sell it? No, we'll sell it. So we are going to cheat some money in here, there, and everywhere. It will look good on the 6.6. Six. Yep, it's the only one that can power it. Uh, Phil, hello. Chris the Irish Gamer, hello. How are you doing? Hope you're good. Do, 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 do. So we've got plenty of mods, but I'm really unsure what to pick. Plenty of mods. I keep forgetting there's always more than one category. Because of course they've split them all up now. So I don't know what to go for. We could do with having a mixture of tractors. That's the... Uh, that's the goal anyway. Ah, my name is Josh. Hello, Josh. Can you get a Ford? Yes, I will. Um, any particular Ford, or we're we just going to go balls to the wall? 462 wheel drive, or there is a the 6810 four wheel drive, the 7710, which I think is broken. You can get a 40 series, a TW. I'll tell you what, we might do. Should we. Which should we go for a four-wheel drive loader or a two-wheel drive loader? <coughs> Have you a four six hundred? No, I haven't got a four six hundred. I can, I can get my tractor in real life. Only it's a foot. Well, actually, yeah, because I can go to. 
that 6610 so that is my tractor in real life without any weights on um, but it kind of slides around and I don't like it very much and it's 150 horsepower when they're not that strong uh, get a deer TW four wheel drive uh, yeah so which TW I've got the TW5 or the TW25 which is in this category here Should we go for a big T dub twi oh god, I didn't realise it was like why is its wheels all weird? Uh do you know how to fix the lights on the tractor? No I don't. TW twenty five twenty five TW5, is the TW's released? Not that I know of, TW5, TW5. Oh god, have I got the wrong ones? Well, I just got sent them. Um, so we won't bother with any of them then, if they're early versions. Come get a six nine twenty. There's so many tractor suggestions, it's unreal. I think the interiors on these are pretty shit. Oh no, it seems okay. Uh, Hundred and five horse though. Uh, oh god, there's quite a few. 7, 7, 10, 4, I think that doesn't work. Get a 7 to 10. The TW has no lights if there is one. If you're not seeing 4D modding, yes, I have got it. Uh, it is there. That's 4D's modding, isn't it? That one there. So I have found it. I did, I did go looking for it because I realised it was. Get a JD 7, 7, 10. I'm sure it's in this section. The only problem is this one doesn't have any decals, and I don't quite. Well, I will. Front weight, front hydraulics. Uh, front weight. Bye. So okay, that's the first tractor board. We need another one, but we could do with having it a loader one. Get a six eight ten Ford. Get the Massey Ferguson eight one eleven. Can you get a Massey Ferguson thirty ninety eight eleven ten? We could do with having something as a loader for now. Um, this is a six eight ten standard. I don't know. Them the Fords seem to lag. I don't think they've been updated to this uh, one. And this one really does lag, so like it, it it doesn't lag in here. It lags in game. So, but I was thinking if we got a another four wheel drive like eight three or something, get a Zeta with a loader on a seven seven forty four wheel drive loader tractor. Use a T six as a loader tractor. Eight three with front loader. Nope, I do not want to do that. Um, I could get a little four-wheel drive Zeta, like that, but it's, I need something big to help around as well. There's all them there. What's in my large tractors? Nothing really. Uh. Uh, that doesn't. Can you have it non blue power? And without air ons? Or do I have to go for this one? Can this one even have a loader on? 
Yeah, I think it can. Yeah, it can. Right, anyway. Yeah. Hi, Fireman, hello. The real dirt mod gives the Fords like you may be your problem. Ah, right. You are still alive. Yes, I am. Zeta in the middle section. That one's better. Can you get an old fent gem on mid tractors? Middle tractors. Could get a fent, but they're quite expensive. And I don't really need one right now. I don't think any of these will have a loader on. No, these ones don't have loaders on. Uh, the Ursus is due. Tell you what, we'll just we'll go for an 8.3 first of all with a loader on. Just for now. And uh No, let's not let's have wide tires but nothing. No weights. Uh, quite like the bodies in grey ID. We'll have it 8340 tuned. There we go. There's our two tractors bought. That leaves us 210,000. In case we want to get anything else, which is what we will need to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one will take the bigger one. This isn't the right loader for it. There's a boat there. Oh, this, this John Deere is not too bad. So here's our selection of tractors to start with. John Deere and a Ford. You can open the back window on the Ford. That looks better. I mean, the load is a little bit bigger because then it just gives it that little bit more reach. Um, so these two miles will stay down here for now whilst we pick our machinery. Are you an MP? No, I'm not in multiplayer at the moment. Does this have any things? No. It doesn't sound bad, no. Right, we can deal with picking the kit, but unfortunately I've got to go let me dogs out because I'm the only one at home. So, unfortunately we're going to have to wait five minutes. Um, can you get an old Massey? I will get an old Massey. Um... I haven't really got any old masses. I've got the little grey Fergies. I've got two internationals. And the only old masses I've got are the 300 series. Um, which I suppose we could put a loader on and use as like a helper tractor. You know, for odd jobs and shit. But when are we ever really going to... Uh, at this moment in time, we aren't going to... The more tractors you own, the more money you have to pay out as well. So, I know we've got 210,000, but we've still got plants, spray everything as well. Are you going to do an MP soon? Um, yes. I'm unsure exactly when, though. But we probably will do a multiplayer. Right, so if everyone can just bear with me for five minutes. Whilst I just go let my dogs out to have a wee. Unfortunately, I should have done this before I streamed, but I completely forgot about it, so... Um... I won't be too long, and uh, enjoy looking at. We'll leave it on the. Uh, we'll leave it on the John Deere. Like that. Right, back in a second. Sorry about that.
Right, we are back. There we go. The three, them three thousand fasties are not accurate. Get a Fergie soon with a loader on. How can you never continue MP series after like three minutes? The problem we have is, um, so when we do a multiplayer, sometimes we record quite a few episodes uh, as a chunk, and then sometimes we don't. But the problem you run into is everyone either gets busy, or someone's doing something on another night, or someone's doing, someone isn't on, but they don't want you to record without them being on, and things like that. So we get to like episode three, everyone starts starts doing other things, and then you can't do anything because no one turns oh, up, so move. we just stop. Hi Nathan, uh, get a Mass Ferguson with an old bell trailer, could do. My name is Jeff, okay. At work we have two 3000 series masters, they are nothing like the in-game ones. Yeah, they're probably not the Inga. They never are the same. So, do you like roleplay series? Uh, I've never watched one. So, now we need a cedar uh, cultivator. So we can either do a cedar cultivator combined or separate. Could do with a plow as well. There's all these people just uh, joining my Discord. Tom Lake and Matt Bennett. Afternoon. Afternoon. Well, I could hear you all, but I couldn't. Uh, well, no, I couldn't hear you all because none of you were talking. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> so well. we need cedars. There we go. What horsepower is our biggest truck? Lots. No. Oh fuck's sake. Oh, there we go. How does that work? The 8.3 is actually more powerful than the John Deere 7.7.10 by 5 horsepower. Which I don't think is true. Yeah. Sorry, Daniel, that. your microphone is absolutely brilliant. What's the crack? Hello? He doesn't like Dagoin. No, I do not like Dagoin. It's funny. Shagoin. Well, yeah, Shagoin. <laughs> We're streaming, by the way, Dan. Uh, oh well. He thinks he knows what he's talking about, but he doesn't really. Oh, shut up, Tom. I can't even hear Tom. Let me just him up a bit. I was going to say, otherwise I'd sort you out when we go back to school. <laughs> There's a fight kicking off. Right, uh, so I think we'll just go for that one, because it's an all-in-one. Uh, what else do we need? Trailers. What help? For green carting. Do 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 do. Oh, we'll just go for the Marshall one for now. Right. We'll get some seed bags. Actually, we'll buy one pallet of seed. Uh, and we'll fill that cedar up whilst we're at it. Because we're already here. This uh, cedar will take all this pallet, pretty much. Mm -hmm. How are your real life tractors doing? They are good. The um, 6.6 six has just come off the digger for like the first time in about a month. The back actor, I should say. And the John Deere has just gone through being straight piped and is having 
is having stuff done for its cab. Uh, but they sh they'll both be ready for summer because they're both going out this summer, hopefully. And the the new mower's come, so that'll s I can sort that out as and when. Right. So yeah, and the day round's been sold, so that is going. What's been typed in chat? Right, we'll go seeding. We're going to plant some barley in the first field. Have you ever been to an, an, I, an IH454? No. I've never driven one. I almost bought an international once. Uh, I can't remember the numbers of it now. Hello, George. I drove one. I think this gate opens the other way as well. I thought so. Whoop. Right. Unfold. Slap some barley in this field. I might not plant the other field. I don't know yet. Just depends how bored we get. Yeah. Uh, why don't you play with controller instead of using keyboard? I have a steering wheel in front of me, but I haven't got it plugged in. I don't know. I just, I just can play. I just play better with keyboard. I have tried to play with controller, and I don't really like it. It's really odd. Um, what's your dream tractor? I don't really have a dream tractor, like, I have a Ford and a John Deere, which I quite happily own, so, that'll do me. Ben Model Farmer, hi. I mean, I would really like a TW, like, any any of them, TW 25, 30, 35, any of that sort of series would be great, but it's the, uh, it's the older expenses that uh, you need to think about don't it because they're not, they're not very cheap <coughs> right when's your next outdoor vlog I was literally about to record one before I started streaming and my GoPro died so if by the time I finish, if there's enough daylight left, I might just go quickly do one. Um, I like G George Sanders TW. I do too, it's quite nice. What do you use your tractors for? Can I visit your house? Uh, not really. Uh, I've driven a 7 700 Two wheel drive forward, very nice. Uh, what do you use your tracks for? I do paddock maintenance with them, so I mow mow for small conventional hay bales and topping, chain harrowing, sort of things like that. We use them at home for topping. On the we've got a back actor which we use quite a little, which we use quite a bit. They do log splitting as well and pulling engines out the shed, things like that. You know, general. They generally get used, but they generally do get looked after. The John Deere's just gone through a service. The Ford. I'm literally just going to go outside, probably after this, and get all the numbers off the filters that I need and order all the filters and do the Ford. Um, that's got a bit of an oil leak to sort out as well. Can you do an old school series? Yeah, if I can get enough old school mods, I definitely will. Um... The problem, like I said, this is the first time all of us have been on in weeks. Like, not even weeks, I mean months. Most of the time it has been me, Tom and James. And at a push, you know, that's had a push. Sometimes it's just been Tom Tom and James because I haven't been on. Um, so, I don't know. But I've said I'm going to start, um, I mentioned earlier in the stream, I am going to start trying to... Of course, with the right permission and whatever, I'm going to take my GoPro and start recording some of the hay jobs I do, just so 
people. Just so there's stuff on the channel to watch, because it's been two months since anything. Um, which is a, a real shame, but I've just been that busy. I just haven't had time. Uh, have you still got the Fergie? No, the... The... I bought the 6.6, the Major went, I've got a David Brown, a John Deere and the 6.6 six, six, and the David Brown has been sold so at the end I'll have the 6.6.10 six, and the John Deere 2140. Um, old stuff is the best, yes it is, do you, or, do you, or do it in 17, could do it in 17. Are you a good mechanic? I wouldn't really say I was a mechanic. I was just more. I can take. I can take something off and refit it. It's not. <laughs> you know, I'm more of a fitter. So I can do services and change parts and things like that. I don't really call myself a mechanic. I just. It just saves a lot of money knowing how to do things like that. Um. um you can say that again. Yeah, I know it's fucking expensive. When I, I had, to, I had to send the John Deere away for the seals in the steering, because. I, because they quoted me 200 quid and I thought that'd be fine, you know. Gets there, they do it, and then they gave me a bill for 600 quid to change a few seals. So oh, I yeah. hit the roof and they knocked 100 quid off, which was still unfair because they quoted me. It should have been. They quoted me 250 and didn't ring me up for anything. Apparently it took a bloke six hours to get a uh, steering joint off. I was like, mate, that's a lie because I can do it in 10 minutes. You know? I said it'll. I said this is the first and last time you'll ever see it again. Like fuck that. It's like I'd rather have spent two days doing it myself and saved like five hundred quid. <laughs> uh, oh god, there's so many things. Get a class Lexan combine. I will. You should keep using newer tractors. I don't really like newer tractors. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I missed this because I got my PC taken away. Oh why? That's a shame. My dad mate has a Ford 6610, very nice. You should get a John Deere 3050. The only reason I have a John Deere at all was because I bought it for two grand. That's the only reason I have it. I would get rid of I wouldn't have a John Deere at all. Do you want a Ford 4000 for five hundred dollars? Yeah, if you'll ship it to Britain. I never got yeah, FS19. I, I still play. I still play 17. I still play 17. Did you send it to John Deere at Rear Valley Tractors? Yes, I did. And like a knobhead, I made the mistake of sending it there. And I paid the price. I've stopped moaning about it. And I've, you know, all that stuff. But it's done now. So it'll. I'm hoping it'll last for ages. Well, you're lucky that there's still John Deere dealers and all that. Yeah, oh, the John Deere dealership is only 20, 20 mile away, I think. Uh, yeah, where's the nearest Leyland dealership? I don't know, one in um, bloody Cambridgeshire. Yeah. And that's not uh, even a proper dealer. I agree with that, new tracks are so ugly, yet yeah, you could do more silage. I could do silage with both my two tractors that I have now. They're capable of it. That big mower of mine is eight foot cut. That's easy. I could mow silage fields with that, I just don't want it. But I think I would do. I might do a few bits for the farmer up the road if, if I go and see him. I am in the UK, the Ford, I couldn't find the Palestine. Alright, well have you got any pictures of it? Silas, do you like JDs? Yeah, kind of. I hate the new Model T6 model. The, the 2012 version is so much better. Um, yeah, I have to agree with that. I don't... Not like I'd ever not use a modern tractor. I just... They're so much more expensive, and they're just not fun to drive. They're just boring, because they just... They're wrong. Yeah, they just... They don't do anything. Like... You know, you can't you can't just rip exhausts off them nowadays. You have to, you'd have to send it away because they'd have to retell the PC, the computer inside it, not to cry because you've ripped the exhaust out of it. Best thing about all the tractors is, if something breaks down, you can normally fix it with a spanner or crowbar. Bam. The modern ones, you need a computer and god knows what else. 
Would you like an Ursus 4514, which is the same as a Massey 3090? No, I'll be all right, thank you. I think a Case Maxim 135 would suit you. The problem you have is, what I've learned very quickly with doing these paddocks and these like very small, like sort of six acre fields, is sometimes the roads and the gateways you have to go in are that narrow that it's just, they're just like almost impossible with anything much bigger. There's an actual gateway that my 6.6 struggles to get through. So, you know. Um, but, uh, it's just how it is, so. How can you not get people on the server? Because I've literally only just started it and everyone's gone off. Like... <laughs> There'll be people, there's people in Discord, um, but there's no one on the server. Maybe next time, when I, if I do another stream, which I probably will, I will uh, most definitely get some people on. What about the Ford? What Ford? Do, 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 do. do you play Greenwich? Uh, yes, I have. I've got a save game on that, but it hasn't got many hours on it. And I've, I started it and then I stopped playing it for some reason. It's, it's been a while since you've been on YouTube. Like, I, think, yeah. I know it has. It's uh, Like I said, I've just been busy with other things. Like, uh, Well, well. Do you know where Daly is? Do you still have the John Deere in real life? Yes, I do. Uh, do you know where Daly is? Is that how you say it, Daly? D e r d a r l e y. Let me just have a look on Google Maps. Is it dare is it Daily Dale? Dairy Dale? Daily Dale? Matlock. Is that the area? Yeah. Is that is that Motlock area? Uh, good map, thank you. My friend is a huge fan, his name is Jim Jim Jimmy. I I remember that you used the CR ten ninety class a flexi five hundred yeah near year new stream it's doing no just daily the only one I get is the Dale one sorry we're just looking up stuff on Google The only one I get is De is is uh, Dairyly Dale. That's it. I don't get another one. There's no other one. Is it near Matlock? No. Are you gay? No. <laughs> I forgot how weird these streams went. Uh, does your 66 have the dual power on the floor or on the gear stick? It's on the floor. You press the button in. It's not dual power though. It's um, or is it dual power? I think it is dual power. I don't know. It's got the button on the floor anyway. For the high and like high and low like turtle thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's yeah that's dual power. Sorry, I was being an idiot. Um, bye. See you later. What's your favourite map? Uh, I quite like I quite like Shamrock Valley, but I wouldn't say it's my favourite. My favourite map is Spring Hill, of all time. That's the one I absolutely love. 
Hey, Springer, who's going to be making an appearance soon? I think you're gay. <laughs> Righto, okay, kid. You think whatever. You know what did you say? Spring Hills, what? I like, from what I've seen, it looks like it might be making an appearance. Uh, who's doing it? Nathan, is it again? I can't remember. I just seen it on Facebook at some point. Yeah, it's usually usually is Nathan. He does a good. Job. Are you going to stream more? Um, I I hope so. I'm going to try and stream and do uh, vlogs as well. With a bit of luck. I am I'm going to plant these two fields and probably move some stuff about. Do you have any tractors in real life? Yes, I have a Ford 6610 Series 2 and a John Deere 2140. Some Sam lad is converting it. All right, okay. Hi, hi, Tractor Man Seven Eight Ten. Right, we should have enough seed to do that other field as well, and then we'll cheat some more money in. Where are you from? Uh, the Midlands. That is where I'm from. Are you near Westbury at any point? Near what? Are you near Westbury? Westbury. Uh, oh, I couldn't tell near you how Froome. close that is. Near Froom. Near Crewe? Froom. Uh, no, I'm not near that. Uh, okay. Hello, I'm Zach. Hello, Shane. Why do you hate Dagoin? I don't hate Dagoin. It's just something we have in this. We just have this in this. We have just loads of banter in this. Uh, what's your favourite map for 19? I've got no idea. Did you sell your Fortson? Yes, I did. Where did you get all your mods from? Mod websites and things like that. Can you cut hedges in the game? No, you can't. I don't think Spring Hill will look good in 19. Um, It depends how much effort you put into it. It, it may look good. But it'll always have its, it'll always have its place on FS13. Because that was... I've got to say that's probably one of the best FS's that's ever been. The mods that we had for FS13 were unreal, which we've now lost because FS UK has now closed down. So all them mods like the Fergies, the Fords, everything's now gone. So if anyone has a mods folder of 13 mods still rammed with all their mods from 13, you've got a very rare folder that's probably worth uh, saving. Oh god, can you not... Could you do an update? Yes, I am. I Like I said, before I started streaming, I was about to record a vlog outside, and my GoPro was dead. When I literally got out the door, it died. So, it's on charge now. Like I said, if there's still some daylight after the stream, I will definitely get one done. Today, or tomorrow. Pete, Peter Wood is my dad. Okay. Do you think you will... I don't know. They might up make a mod for it. Will Spring Hill ever come to console? I've got no idea. Would you like you a Ford? No oh my god! Would you like a Ford Seven Eight Ten instead of one of your other tractors? No. Seven Eight Tens are too big. They're six cylinders and they're designed for heavy stuff. Like they'd be an absolute waste on what I do. So the two four cylinders that I've got is enough. Um, can you do a Let's Play series? Yeah, I can do. I quite like the streaming though, because you get to talk. You know, you don't have to try and like think of a commentary for like half an hour, maybe an hour plus. You can just hit go and that's it. Zach, are you going to bring back Air Island multiplayer? 
Uh, I th we're going to try. I think season uh, series uh, uh, number three's been released, hasn't it? Well, I, mean, I think some are running one as we speak. I think yeah, version three of the map's been released. Shane, has version map of Air Island been released? Do you still have FS13 in the game? Yes, I do, Shane. We're still running on... Not still running. We're running on V3 now. Yeah, so the V3 has been released then. Uh, do you think you'll do a video only using new tractors? I've got no idea. What do you mean? In real life or in-game? Yes, V3 has been released. Can you do a survival roleplay? I sure I can. can. Where can I get Ear Island from? Shane will tell you. It, it was released, I think it was released on Facebook. Yesterday at 4.30. Yeah, it'll be somewhere. Hang on, game. Hello, hello farming lad. In game. Uh, yeah, I don't like using new attractors. I just, I don't know. I'm just not drawn to them. You know, I quite like using the older stuff. Don't get me wrong, some of the newer stuff is brilliant, but the old modern classics is kind of where I'm at. What, like MS6, 170s and 390s or something? Yeah, you know, like, you know what, mod like, modern classics are like the Fiat 110 90, anything in, like, the 90s and 80s. Well, mainly the 90s and the 80s. That's usually where they count. I think that's pretty, I'm pretty sure that's where they count most of the, um... Don't sound as good. No, you're right. Farm Sim, Farming Community. Ah, right, so you've just tagged me in it, I can see it in my Discord. Right, uh, I'll save that, I'll download it in a bit. Yeah, we probably will start doing an Ear Island playthrough if it's, uh, if it's released. Um, I have to go, okay. Best map to play on console? Um, I don't know as I don't play console, mate, so I couldn't tell you. What should we stick in this other field? We've got one field of barley. Should we plant a money crop? I don't know. Console is cancer. Huh? Yeah, said it. What should we stick in it? No, I said Conto is cancer. Yeah, oh yeah, it is it, crap. Is that where I can get Ear Island from? Yes, the Farm Sim Community FSC. I would say Greenwich, yes. Please swear very loud. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Some people just, I swear some people don't look what they type in this chat and they just slam enter. Well, hello. Oh, come on, girl. It's only a bit of a hill. You're really not enjoying this, are you? Right, next field. I don't think we'll put barley in it. I think we'll stick soybeans in it. I can see photos being uploaded, but I can't. I think it's Mark Jackson's uploading them. Zach, hello VBT. Yeah, it is. Yes, I can do some more videos of real life. Um, like I said, like I've said about a thousand times, because people keep joining the stream, and uh, of course you can't quite catch it. Uh, I was about to go record a real life video, well, a vlog, and uh, I basically got outside, and my GoPro died. So my GoPro is on charge whilst I stream, and then after the stream, I'll probably go do it. Uh, and then I'll, I'll record like my tractors and have a look at the mower and think. Do you want to mow some land? <laughs> Not particularly. Did you straight pipe your John Deere? Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure everybody saw that. <laughs> oh, she sounds nice though. She just has a terrible hard. She does not like cold starts at fucking all. Because I don't think the glow plugs work. The thing is, it's the opposite story on my Leyland. She'll start in any, any weather. I, th I think it's a combination. I think the starter motor is getting really lazy on it and it doesn't turn it very quick. And. Um, 
with it having no glow plugs as well, if it's not turning fast enough, it can't really do anything, so. Just keep you in a barn or something then. It just stays outside, it'll be okay. The best thing to do is, well, uh, what I've done is, where the where they are part now, um, because you say that putting in a barn, it was in a shed for like two years when it was parked up, and it was still a bastard to start then. So, it's had a few. What we do with our um, machinery is we don't put them in the cubicle sheds down the middle, and then you got the cattle give off the heat, and it stops it from doing a cold start. And then... Yeah. But then you find that cows rub against everything, and I really don't want my 6-6 six, six rubbed to death by cows. No, in the feed passage, in the middle of the feed passage. Oh, right, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, feel. Yeah, okay. And then the heat from the cattle keeps them warm. And... The thing is, though, they because they went away from, like, buttons and things like that, like all the other companies did, there's no button to press to, like, help it along. So you basically have to wait for it to just start. That's that's all you can do is just hope that it's going to run. Like the Ford, you push the hand throttle, you open the passenger door, well the other door, push the hand throttle up a bit and press the button in, shut the hand throttle back down, turn it on, literally that thing does half a turn and then it's fired. No matter how cold it is, no matter how long it's been outside neither. But the, the plan I've got is kind of in the summer when I'm kind of not busy um, because I've picked up a few more jobs as well for summer, so it's kind of picking up a bit. So I don't know how busy I'm not I'm going to be, but I'm hoping that I can put a pole barn up, you know, like a cheapish one, just kind of behind one of the sheds to put my tractors in, and then kind of tin sheet the sides and everything, so at least they get some protection from the elements, you know. And then just stick a space eater in there all the time. <laughs> Downloading FS19 mods. Any recommendations? Uh, Greenwich or Shamrock Valley as a map? Um, I don't know. It's kind of what how your play style is. Like I just download old mods, like old tractors, like Ursus and Zetas and Fords. And the only John D R recommend is the 60 to 20 premium mod. That is a Really nice mod. I think I've got that, yeah. Can I be it's a moderator? <laughs> Why? The stream's not that big. It didn't give all of the gearbox choices on the six. Yeah. That's I'm trying to. The people are. Um, there's some people that are doing. Because I know this, there's a bloke called Sam. He's doing a very big 10 series pack, I'm pretty sure, according to what Tom's told me. By the way, a county to. got released last night. Huh? A four county seven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Released. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're being released, and then someone's done a John Deere thirty fifty, which is released somewhere. Some people, some people turn that into a two wheel drive, and I want to try and find a smaller John Deere to build a twenty one forty on, and then just get all my sounds off my one to do it. Uh, there he is, Sam6610, he's doing the pack. He was hiding in the old stream, waiting for it to happen. Are you selling the John Deere? No. <laughs> I'm going to use it this year. It's go When I get a hedge cutter, it's going to be my hedge cutting tractor. When I get one. I tell you what, you're going to hate hedge trimming. You are? You're going to hate hedge trimming. <laughs> oh, but it, it brings money in through the winter, so... Something to do. Yeah, something to do as well. <laughs> well, if I want to go, if I want to leave what I'm leave the council and go into this full time, I've got to try and uh, make as much money as I can. <laughs> so that even means doing yeah, the dreading. Yeah. The hours up, so. Twenty plus conflicts per Ford. Lol. Jesus. Fuck me. Fuck that's me. a lot. That Ford pack actually going to get released. Uh, Sam, is that Ford pack going to get released? Play Minecraft. No. Do you like Fiat? Uh, I like the 11090s, but I'm not a massive fan of them. I just like the look of them. Sounds good, yeah. Uh, I, I, the th I've chosen hedge cutting because it's actually easier than muck spreading and slurry, which would completely kill my tractors and get them covered in shit and I'd cry. 
I mean, that John Deere's having a full interior pack put in it as well. It's had a new seat. It's got a 300 quid air seat in it. And it's having a full interior pack in it as well. So it'll, it, the inside will actually be like new. Will it be released on console? Uh, oh, you have to ask Sam. I doubt it on console, but probably. Well, with the it, he says it, he says there's twenty plus com conflicts per Ford, so that's twenty selectable things on each Ford. It'll be private oh, for yeah. you not to use uh, six four seven XML lines for the engine. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking hell! Are you selling your John Deere? No, I'm not, Matthew. Please stop asking. Martin, sorry. Please stop asking. What's your favourite ID? I don't know. I guess he can't release it like publicly because there's permission from that XJS for the original Ford. Ah, that'll, yeah, okay. What's your favourite John Deere? I don't really have a favourite John Deere. Six three twenty all the way. Yeah, what he said that'll do. Uh, so does that mean I get a copy, Sam? Do I get to use it and put it in streams and then make everyone mod beg for it? I suppose it's I suppose it's a hard thing though because you try and make mods for like the community and things like that, and then you just get put so many obstacles in the way if you don't. You know, like, if you base it off someone else's and they don't want it released with anything else on, it's like, you know, it's either, then you've got to then, then you've got to start again with, like, say if you wanted to release a TW, but you wanted it as, a, like, an 8210, you know, you'd have to then rebuild the whole pack to release it, so the pack would be, like, it'd be all your work. <laughs> and... Um, I'm it. coming it to your house door. Right, good luck with that. <laughs> of course, that cheers, Sam. Good luck coming to my door, considering you don't know where I live. Ah, oh, well, it's been a nice stream. I'm the time of... the door with a body, I'm packing a dog shit, <laughs> sets a light to it, and then fucking runs away. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Problem is that it, the problem is you can't, you couldn't. If so, say if someone try was trying to nick from my house and they were in the back garden, they'd have no, they'd have no hope because I would, because of where, because I'm on the third story, I'm higher than everyone else, so I can see into the garden like all the way around the garden. So the only way you could get in is if you came through the front, but then you'd have to like go around eight thousand cars. And then miss two dogs that would hear everything, and you probably wouldn't go very far. <laughs> I do know where you live. <laughs> I don't think you do, as my address has never been given out anywhere. <laughs> and I say the Midlands. Do you like doing hay haying? What yes, I do. Huh? What paid for all of your old equipment? What do you mean? How much did I pay? No, I mean like, how did you manage to pay for it? Or did I? Oh, how did, how did I afford it? Well, I just worked on the council. Every time I got paid, I just bought a bit more, bought a bit more, and then ended up with a um, massive I collection. Going, like, stuff, and then I thought, <laughs> you can't be that old. I was thinking, how the fuck did you come across with it? Yeah. Well, I bought the baler just randomly. Because I saw it for sale, and I just literally just bought it because I had hopes of doing it. Like I thought, oh, better, you know, because you always think of doing stuff and then you never do it because you just. Um, have you a Discord server I could put post? Oh, of course, Sam, um, you can have a bloody link. You invite people. Alright, there's a link to my Discord. Show all kit, please. Uh, yeah, I will do. In I will do once I've just done this field. Uh, yeah, so I bought the baler randomly because I was talking to Tom about doing it, and I thought, well, if I don't do something, I'll forget about the idea. So I bought the baler, and then the same bloke that had the baler for sale, he had the PZ mower and the hay bob for sale, so I bought them. 
then I had a I had a Howie's topper off a mate of mine that I paid fifty quid for, that I did that the topping awesome. with. Yeah. Then so I sold that. I bought some I bought some trail chain harrows for like two hundred quid. Built an A-frame around them, and then that I got myself. I basically saved myself about. I saved myself about six hundred quid by making the frame and just doing it that way because. I can't remember how much a new set were, but they were very expensive. You know, like a new folding set. <laughs> um. Yeah. Sorry. Where were we? Yeah. No, and then. Uh, and then I bought the Browns bale sled off the same bloke I bought the baler and the mower off. And then. I had the Ford Major, I had the Ford to Major and the Zeta, sold the Zeta and all that shit. And then I had, the only thing I've had to borrow money for is that Ford 6610 which was off my mum and dad because it was seven grand. Um, but then I, I basically paid them back, I think I owe them like, I owe them a little bit of money anyway, that doesn't matter. So then they helped me get it, that, that then helped me get started. Uh, and that, but before that, sorry, jumping back a bit. Before that, I bought, I sold my Howie's topper and bought my major topper. And then we got to the Ford. And then I went through this, the first season that I did, which was this year. And got all the, got some customers and got kind of, got kind of on my feet and everything. And it was really good. Um, and as I was going to look at a topping job about halfway through the season that's when they the people that I went to look at had this fuel bowser of the sale so I bought that um, and then someone that I was doing the hay for they have a like garden center thing you know they do flowers and that whatever just on the side of whatever else they do but he has some sheep and he said oh I want some hay and whatever and um, so I was talking to him and he said oh I've got vintage tractors you know so I said, alright, I'll go out, come have a look. Went in his shed, because one of them needed a PTO seal doing. Uh, and I said, well, if you order it, I'll fit it, whatever, you know. And uh, in the corner of that shed was the 2140. And uh, I said, oh, what was up with that? And he said, oh, the steering went a bit funny. Then the clutch went to the floor. And he said, but I'm not very mechanically minded, so I've just left it. And I was like, alright. And he said, but he, he rang some people and they said it's the back end oil and whatever which it wasn't. What it is, is yeah. there's an orbital steering pump that goes underneath the steering wheel and yeah. the master and the slave cylinder had all the rubber had perished and all the oil just leaked out of it. So I fitted a new, I fitted a rebuild kit on that and a new s thing and then the axle seals and sorted it. It's done now. And then... It's on. You should have done there, please. Ah? I need to shift my drum there, some way you can't get the hand. Ah, right, okay, sorry. Oh my god, it's got... Fuck, you know. Yo, it's your boy, oh, Crab King. <laughs> this... <laughs> Hi, New Holland. <laughs> so, yeah, and then... He also had the MF mower. If you remember, I had that. I bought that massive mower. I spoke mower. to you that on YouTube on the video you did. Yeah, well, he had that for sale. So yeah. I bought that off him as well. I bought that off him before I bought the John Deere sort of thing. And yeah. um, so I got that home. And then I was looking around on Facebook Marketplace and I found that big PZ mower that was like... I'm pretty sure it's an 8 foot cut, but it's got conditioner on and everything like that. And I thought, oh that's nice, it was 800 quid. And he said he, he, said he was looking to Partex a smaller mower. So I went and had a look at it. And I said, alright, but I've got a, a spare mower, which was that Massey mower. And I said, well, look, if you knock me 300 quid off, which is what I paid for that mower, then I'll I'll buy you a big one. So I basically bought that big, that big nine, eight foot, nine foot mower for like 500 quid. And that's it. <laughs> that's how I got everything. And then the digger 
was another Facebook marketplace and I saw it dead cheap for about 500 quid and I thought fuck it I'll have that and that's it <laughs> so but it's taken me about two years to get to this point of having this much stuff but I always just set myself like a little budget to spend like each month because the council you get paid monthly you see so it's quite easy to just save a bit spend a bit you know have a look at the tractor I just sent you. That's what I'm getting when I... You uh, live in a hole. Sex. Yes, I do. What kit do you have on this game? Right, so we've got a John Deere 7810 with the Cedar. There is a New Holland 8340 here. A Marshall. We've got the New Holland TX32. The tractor I just tagged you. Oh, that's what I'm getting when I leave school. For Are you tagging me in Discord, have you? Yeah, I just tagged Yeah, alright then. Uh, you live mm -hmm. in a hole. Okay. What's the what? What is the best tractor? Oh, six six ten series two. Would you ever think of getting another major? Yes, I have thought about it, and I probably will. Um, not right now, though. The John Deere's having a lot of work done to it. So, just subscribe. Great content, and a happy new year. Happy new year to you, and thank you very much. Oh yeah, happy new year, people. But it'll probably be exactly the same as usual. For sure. What for good for vehicles are you in the last quarter? It's just terrorists and Christmas. Yep, cheers to that. <laughs> Matt, have you completely cleared that? I feel. Don't be dad. Do you live in Ireland? No. What do you do for the council? What do you do on the council? Uh, tractor driving and things like that. But usually not a great deal. It is the council after all. Right, we're going to seed this field and then that'll do because I've got some other stuff to do. And I think my GoPro's charged so I might try and get that video down. But uh, what, yes, Sam, the, I've put the link in Discord. Hopefully, you've uh, joined before it expires. Tell me if you need another one before I go, and I will put another one in. Uh, I'm not sure where the next stream's going to be. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I've got fuck all idea. Depends when I'm busy. Um, I know I'm busy this weekend, so there won't be one then. Maybe in the week there might be another one. Oh shit, there's a Landini. Everyone run. What? Oh my god, it's Sheamus. Where I live, the okay. farmers hate the council. <laughs> Most people hate the council, I'm not bothered. <laughs> Especially around they put area. money. They put money in my account every month. That'll do me. Until I can get away from there, that's what I'm going to have to put up with. I just wish they love you haven't fixed my fence. Hi, anyway, Sheen. Not about yourself. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, Irish. Yep, Seamus is Irish. Yeah, I am. Have you only just got up, Shane? You've been wanked from last night. No. No. I'm not looking at a tractor like yours. You what, sorry? I was ever looking at a tractor like yours before. Ah, the 6610. Hmm. Boy, when it's You thinking of going for one or? Yeah. We had one before. The nice things, are, I just, I don't know, they're just, they're just, the nice things, but the cabs look very big on them. Super Qs look massive on them. Like, you if you look at right. mine, if you look at mine, it looks so stumpy because the Super Q is so big. Hmm. 
dead tender rustle as well, like that's a killer in a good one. Jesus fuck your voice sounds like a robot. Yeah. Are you got are you, is your voice going? Yeah. It's uh, all that shouting you were doing last night. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Douche, do douche. Oop, let me fought off. Matt, did you put the bell camera? What map are you two on? What map are you two on? We're on Air Island B3. <gasps> They're on Air Island playing multiplayer. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend 20 years downloading it and then I might play it. It takes about 18 minutes to download. I don't know. I might hit you up. Hit you up for a big MP if you want. Yeah, go on. Oh, I'm going to have to send you a load of mods then. we got three people on. on here. Huh? Who own a farm. We've got three people on here so far who own a farm on the map, and then there's about four more farms after. No, two or three. The, the, the only reason we all stopped playing it and stopped doing that series was because I was the only one that could see the cows, and it was really irritating, so we all just stopped. Oh, that makes sense. No, because I, I asked you once, uh, when was it, is it coming back on it, he said, yeah, when V3 comes out or something, or is it? Yeah. Well, the, the other thing as well, being on version 1, you always had updates. So you couldn't really get into the game because it go, oh, there's an update, you need to start a new save. Update, needs to save, start a new save. So... Oh, v3 literally just updated the map and... No, but like, uh, I'm pretty sure that V2 and a couple of others, there was... V2 was really fucked. Yeah, V2 was... V2 was worse than V1. Yeah, because none of the cows worked or anything. Um, so... Uh, you know the farm that's on the little island thing? Yeah. Uh, Field 142, the one on the corner? Yeah. That's now got a cow pasture. Ah. Moving cows between the farm and that field. So, whoever owns that farm can see their own cows? Yeah, 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 right. Easy enough. It's that's it, just because it was just like, well, I had to look on everyone's list to see how their cows are doing, so I spent half my time just looking at animals. You can't do any pet You can't you can do, only do it do that. unless you do it like really quick. So someone's always there, so it don't like go or anything. Right, I get you. Well, I'll uh, download uh, V3 in a minute. Well, we're finished here. This is going to be the end of the stream. Next stream, we'll I'll probably fast forward time. We'll get to doing some mowing and some hay and some magical stuff like that. But anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed the stream. Bit of a random one and bit of a just off the, uh, you know, off the grid. But thank you all for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today, and I'll see all of you in the next stream. Have farming and goodbye.